Hey, and welcome back to the Talos Principle 2. Uh, I'm welcoming back myself as well because it's been a week since I last played this game. I've been uh, dealing with some issues lately, so I haven't been able to record um, as much and really stream either. So I did have some time uh, today and feeling uh, pretty okay, so I'm, I'm glad to be back to it because Mama needs some more puzzles. <laughs> Where we left off last time, we had returned to New Jerusalem on a, a not so good note. Um, our, our friend Byron got like sucked up by a thing, a big scary thing, and we're hoping he's okay. Um, we're going to return to the mega structure now. So let's head this way, and I think it should be the where the VTOL is. 1K, could you join us for a quick debrief? Yeah, absolutely. What's going on? Attending today are advisors from engineering, the archive scholars, and Helga. Helga. <laughs> yes, don't mind me. I'm just an admirer of governmental transparency. Yes, well. While the mayor is briefed by Alcatraz, I think we've met Helga he's before. asked us I don't to remember review Jeremy. recent events. Byron's loss has unsettled us all. He's not it gone forever. to allow this expedition to continue. I, at least I hope not. Uh, it may not be safe, but we can't leave Byron behind, exactly. Byron took risks. We'll be more careful. The island has technology we can't afford to ignore. Uh, we're hot on the Founder's heels. We may, uh, we must keep searching. The island is one big puzzle that's halfway solved. We can't quit now. Frankly, it's too dangerous. We should leave that island well alone. <laughs> I agree with all of them, except the ones that are saying we need to leave. <laughs> um, I'll say we can't leave Byron behind. I agree. <laughs> we cannot be guided by fear. We must do what's right. Let's not forget the dam's falling apart. We can't depend on Hydro forever. With just a fraction of the power that island can generate, we could grow this city into a planetary society. Or, quite possibly, destroy ourselves in the process. We should trust ourselves to make good on this opportunity. Uh, we should be... we should beware the fate of those who wield power beyond their reckoning. We have more important matters to discuss. Um... I'll, I'm gonna say this. Wise words from one so young. That island holds secrets far more valuable than mere energy generation. What could be more important? The Somnodrome, of course. If we could find a working model, it would herald a sea change in our moral and self-understanding. The question of how we should build New Jerusalem would simply be moot. I think the Somnodrome, if I remember right, it was like a device that maybe Byron or somebody else had first made, or maybe it was Cornelius, and it just like didn't work, I think, but then um, I think Athena, she like perfected it. That's where my memory is, at least right now. Um, let's hear his thoughts on, on what he has to say about it. The Somnodrome was supposed to let us interact with our own subconscious code. It's a cool idea, but it wouldn't necessarily solve all our problems. My own studies prove that we operate on an intrinsic moral logic. It's what makes us human. But our access to it is only indirect. Our ancestors created art, philosophy, and, and parable to help bridge that gap. The Somnodrome would help us to cut out the middleman and ask the source directly. We would finally have an answer to the great moral questions. So, it's a newfangled way to make the same old mistake of judging who's good and who's bad. Unfortunately, 1K left the Somnodrome inoperable. Whoopsies! But there may be a working device elsewhere on the island. Then the question is, what would 1K do if they found it? Uh, I would destroy it. I would share it with people. I would I would let the government decide. I think we've trust we've we've realized by now we can't trust anything that um <laughs> Um I would let the scholars investigate. 
I would keep an open mind. I would use it myself. And then see how I feel. Oh. Um. Oh. Ow. I'm, I'm trying to, like, remember, like, fully, like, what it did to, if, like, it, did it deem, like, if someone was basically, like, a good or bad person? Ew, ew. Or am I completely making that up? Um. I'm gonna say this for now. No. Oh. This is much too important to decide on a whim. But it's so much more fun when we're kept in suspense. <laughs> you all sound so sure of what's best for this city. Do you ever think you might be so busy changing the world for the better, you'll forget how to see that it's perfect already? Um... So clearly there are different perspectives in the room. The only I, way I would have never guessed. The team gets back out there. 1K. I believe Alcatraz is waiting for you at the VTOL. Let's we'll go back, baby. We'll stream from here. Bring on the puzzles. Bring on the puzzles. Bye, hello, robots. Is that my friends? Hello, friends. We're just missing one friend. This is uh, Hermanubis. What can I do for you, 1K? We have to rescue Byron. What do you think about the technologies we've discovered? Was Hermanubis the one that was like against new technology and like against growth kind of? He's like, we should just like stay kind of where we are and not grow beyond our means. Um, I say that. I agree. We can't just leave one of our most important citizens in that death trap. What do you think about the technologies? They all sound very promising, of course. Apparently, it's possible to just magic things into existence now. But what is the cost, 1K? There's always a cost. Reminds me of um, one of my favorite shows, um, Once Upon a Time. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. And there's a character in there that says, all magic comes with a price. <laughs> You're like... Hermanubis is basically that character right now. <laughs> what did the mayor say? I convinced him that we need to keep going until we found Byron. Wait, did we just? Did he want I... us to leave him behind? Am I sitting on? No, he's just concerned for our safety. Or wait, maybe he's behind us. And he must be right behind speak. us. But we're going back. Anyway. I thought I, I thought I sat on Alcatraz. <laughs> Seep in time. Great trials lie ahead of you, my child. But your choices will determine the future. Okay, alright. Thanks, Elohim. Melville? Are you receiving? Yep. Welcome back to the mysterious island, everyone. Oh. How's the situation? Whatever Byron did seems to have sent the whole system into some kind of lockdown. I can't access any of the terminals, although I suspect 1K still could. Why would that be the case? When 1K connected to the data stream, the system assigned him a user profile. The oh. rest of us are locked out, oh. which means I'll need your help, 1K, because a lot of stuff doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Will do. Check it out and see what you can fix. But please remember, what matters most is finding Byron. Hmm. Nice to come back here and have like the the beautiful like sunsets and stuff, all the pretty colors. Whereas like when we were last in New Jerusalem, it was like just so dreary. All right, activate the towers. So uh, weren't we supposed to meet with um Mel Melville though? Where where are they? Because we left, we left Melville here, right? Maybe they're over at where the, um, the, this thing is. Maybe like down here. Cause I don't see her chilling around. Something that I do see though, is I see a, a, like a star on the HUD. Interestingly, 
interestingly though, it doesn't look like it's getting closer as I'm going in this direction. I feel like usually they do. Seems a lot of uh, power being supplied, it looks like. Maybe I have been over here. This might have been like the first one that I went to. It's been so long. Um, was it up here? Or no, this is... Honestly, I don't know if I know what this is. <laughs> It said release stars, so that's gotta be like the, the stars that I've been finding on the level. So I guess we just bring them back here? Okay. All right. Oh, well, that's that's good to know. I do see our two Prometheus flames are still showing up on the HUD. The stars did disappear since we uh, released those. Um, but I wanna see maybe someone in the, in the uh, video comments said that the Prometheus flames are to be used like as as hints if you can't solve a, a puzzle. I think that maybe is what someone said. Thank you by the way everybody uh, who's been like super kind and leaving um the comments on the videos. It's always nice to like see what you guys thought of uh each time we play and um always nice to get like some little bits of lore and tips and that kind of deal too. <clears throat> I don't, I don't see Melville here, um, but yeah, it just says activate the towers. Uh, I do see we have a few notifications though, so let's check those out. City news. The crier says, the expedition to the Founder's Island has suffered a serious setback as all contact with Byron was lost during a foray into the interior megastructure. Byron is assumed to be alive, but trapped within a data stream overload and unable to disconnect. Several sources in the government expressed a lack of surprise at the turn of events, citing the first companion's history of rash behavior. Hopefully this gets people thinking about the dangers of populism, one source told me. It's been alarming to see people suddenly falling to this utopian foolishness. And then we have uh, Gemifix 312 now open. I'm very happy to announce that the Gehenna Memorial Interactive uh, Fiction exhi Exhibition is now open to visitors. We did go and see that. Come play the three winning works at the Gehenna Memorial Pavilion. Finally, can't wait. Wonderful news, I'll be attending today. Nice. These be made available through the interface too? Yes, after the ex exhibition is over. So yeah, we did do those. Um, there, were, there were some very interesting um, ones that we did, the like text adventures. I was like thinking about it too. I like wonder if that was like the developers who um like wrote those or if it was like a like a um Kickstarter like backer like perk that you know like like a, a fan could write those. I'm not sure. And then we have the optimist. The pessimist is commonly spoken of as the man in revolt. He is not. Firstly, because it requires some cheerfulness to continue in revolt, and secondly, because pessimism appeals to the weaker side of everybody, and the pessimist, therefore, drives as roaring a trade as the publican. The person who is really in revolt is the optimist, who generally lives and dies in a desperate and suicidal effort to persuade all the other people how good they are has been proved a hundred times over that if you really wish to enrage people and make them angry, even unto death, the right way to do it is to tell them that they are all the sons of God. Jesus Christ was crucified, it may be remembered, not because of anything he said about God, but on a charge of saying that a man could in three days pull down and rebuild the temple. Every one of the great revolutionists, from Isaiah to Shelley, have been optimist. They have been indignant, not about the badness of existence, but about the slowness of men in realizing its goodness. The prophet who is stoned is not a, a brawler or a 
Marplot. He's simply a rejected lover. He suffers from an unrequited attachment to things in general. G.K. Chesterton. I agree with some of those points, but I don't agree with other points. Rip Byron. <laughs> Too long didn't read. <laughs> we don't know that he's dead. He may just be lost. He could still be saved. I was going to say something sarcastic, but you know what? In the spirit of optimism, I really hope so. Yeah. All right. Well, in an effort to save Byron, I guess we gotta solve some more puzzles. Anything for you, Byron. I mean, I was gonna do it. But anything for you, Byron. Anything for you. <laughs> I suppose where we're going next is the southern coast. The heavily eroded cliffs of the southern coast are surrounded by azure waters and dominated by a particularly unusual tower. Let's uh, let's check and see how unusual okay. it is. I'm sending you a little software upgrade I put together that should allow you to detect which files will lead to a data stream overload. Unfortunately, I'm not doing this to help you avoid them. In fact, I'm going to need you to search for more. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But if we're going to unlock all the systems that aren't responding, you'll have to connect to the data stream, possibly more than once. Did we learn this nothing? Way for me to get access. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wasn't expecting this. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, one cake. In this area, there seems to be a problem with the the machine that makes the Tetromino bridges. That means you can solve the puzzles, but you can't activate the tower. Look for a lab that lets you connect to the data stream. I already found it. I'll send you the coordinates. Wow. This might be the most impressive location that we've been to yet. Um, or <laughs> literally, like, just, like, speechless. Okay, um, so we have our puzzles, of course, but we do need to connect to the data stream in a lab as well. Um, and it looks like this... This lab already might be marked? Is it? Um, but it looks like... Oh, it looks like it's over there, I guess. Okay, alright. Well, it looks like the like second half of the puzzles are kind of in that direction so maybe we'll we'll do the um the lab thing in a little bit let's go over here first because it looks like one is this way gosh they weren't kidding about the azure waters beautiful oh i don't think we need to go back to new jerusalem i think we can just live here there's no need to go back there that that's just silly Pure silliness, if you ask me. Oh. Oh. Developers. Yeah. Did an alright job. Hmm. Alright. First puzzle of the day. Hopefully my brain is warmed up. Or it's not warmed up enough, but... <laughs> Hopefully it'll go okay. Uh, it says it, this one is called Phase Entry, I want to say. Uh, I see him. Oh. Oh. That's what I see. Okay. Um, so blue beams mean teleport. Got it. And we can take the teleport. Ooh. Wait. Oh, you can teleport wherever you want to? What? I don't know if I should be trusted with this. Um, all right. <laughs> let me just, let me just look around. <laughs> this is wild. Why? Why? Maybe this gate is going to go down once we solve it, but they just want to make sure that you don't take anything out of here. There's something up here. Oh, that's where the ending is. Got it. Got it. Um, okay. Well, I have, I have, a, a, 
Um, this would I, I would assume activate the fan, but like there's no fan on there. Um, well, yeah, I, I have a cube, but I can't take it over. Um, boy, uh, getting back into this after not having played for a, uh, for a moment is tricky. Um, okay. All right. Um... So that's good to know. You can you can teleport with like while holding items. Um so if that's the case, I I should be able to bring over the hexahedron that way. Yeah. <laughs> Suck my butt purple wall. Okay. Um so then. So then we can take the teleporter. I'm gonna plop it there for a moment. Put you on there. I'm going to do something. We're gonna go over here. And I will place you there for a moment. I'm gonna go back over here. Um, I guess we really don't need the cube anymore. Um So I, I we can we can we can send that back over, I think. That worked. Yeah, okay, so you're over there now. I'm gonna take this and do that. Um, I guess I could have done that with the cube too. Um, so you're gonna go on here. You're going to go here. And then I'm going to go here. Yeah. That's kind of one of those puzzles. I feel like you could probably solve it like multiple ways. But I did it that way. Hopefully that's all right. All right, one puzzle down, first one of the day. So number two is, okay, so number two is that way, but I do see like a star situation over here that I want to check out first. Oh, she looks interesting already. Okay. All right. Speaking of reference photo in case I want to figure this out later. Yeah, I, I'm going to need that. <laughs> Cause right now I have no idea. I wonder if we're gonna find like buttons on like the side of a building like we did over here with the cat one. Maybe some something like that, I don't know. It says we have two more notifications in here. The Noema system, pretty much all the tech on the island from the puzzles of the mega structure is run by a system called Noema. I've identified a number of obvious uh, commonalities with the software we use in New Jerusalem, enough to be certain that Noma is descended from our own software, although Athena and Cornelius appear to have upgraded it quite extensively. And uh, this. In some ways, teleportation is one of the less surprising things we found here, uh, in that at least particle teleportation was known to be theoretically possible. Of course, that's still miles away from these teleporters, which operate on principles that simply contradict what we know of physics. The transfer of matter from one location to another is instantaneous, without an observable wormhole or similar effects. There is, however, a release of exotic particles in the instant uh, of teleportation, which decay within fractions of a second. Fractions of a second, excuse me. All right, well, we'll just uh, try to remember you in that pattern that we see there. That was the start of one, right? This was the start of one, but we also have a friend over here. What is it? <laughs> nice to see you too, Melville. What's going on with the megastructure systems? Now I suspect Byron is still logged in and his presence has thrown everything out of whack. Entire subsystems are locked down and everything that depends on those subsystems is disrupted. Have you heard anything from Byron at all? I feel like the answer to this is going to be no, but... There was a short burst of noise on the frequency oh. we used to communicate, but that could have been anything. Mm. Uh, what can you tell me about Cornelius? He taught me a lot when I was young. Nowadays, people just know him as the museum curator, but back then, he was closely involved with every engineering project, and he was brilliant. When he encountered a problem, 
He'd always remain calm and keep working at it until he found a solution. I wish I could be that patient. <laughs> um, why didn't Athena and Cornelius just both vanish together? If I had to guess, I'd say so that Cornelius could still go back for anything they needed. He was always leaving on expeditions anyway, looking for materials for his projects. Thanks, Melville. That's all for now. Okay, let's um head toward number two then. Looks like there's another question mark, like relatively close by. We'll see what's closer. Gosh, that is just wild. Alright, looks like number two might be a little bit closer. Padding here might be a little bit more linear. Well, it's cool how this one is like on its own little like islands. The Escape. Oh, I feel like a fitting name for uh, how this one's set up. Okay, all right. Because, yeah, you can, like, literally, like, just jump right out of this one, but it, you might just be jumping right into the water, and I don't think that would be super good. Very interesting that down there on the side of that rock, there's a place you can drill. Do we have a driller here? We, we, we must, because there's a... Yeah, we do have a driller here. I, I really want to drill. <laughs> um, okay, all right. Let me let me try to stay focused on, on this first. So we have red power source. We have blue power source. We do have a driller behind a purple wall. We have a connector. Red input, blue input. Lots of drillable walls. All right, um, let's start somewhere. So I guess I'll start with you and we'll take this connector. Then I can connect to you. Is there another red over there? Or, yeah, it is, but okay, it's out there. Um, I'm just gonna move this driller a little bit so it's a little bit further back. Just wanna make sure that it don't fall off the cliff. Um, let's put you there and connect you. So, what did you do? Uh, you opened up this. Um, why? <laughs> oh, maybe now that it's open, maybe I can open up that one too. Possibly, possibly. Um, I, I might need to adjust driller a smidgen. Can you reach that too? The one out there? No, maybe not. It's like, right, I think it's like right behind the wall with this red one. All right, so why, oh, I just like pressed something. It said hold X to reset. Oh, is that to reset the puzzle? I didn't know that that was a thing. Um. I'm already confused. <laughs> Great. Love that for me. Um, would blue benefit me better right now? No, I'm not, I don't, uh, uh, what if I drill like that wall? Is there anything over there that can help you girl out right now? Um, if I had the connector out here, then I could, I could connect the blue over there. We need, we need this open so I can get through that door. How can I, how can I get the red to that? Behind this wall, there's no way for me to like shine it through there. Um, un actually, 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 um, can hmm. I was gonna say maybe I can actually shine the it through these bars here. I can't remember if they if they can do that if that's part of the rules or not. Um, so let's drill you again. 
but I'm gonna like put it in here. <clears throat> um, so it can shine through there. Perfect. All right, so that will enable us then to do this. All right, and then, um. Drill this again. Oh, we have a teleporter. I was like, there's gotta be some other tool over here. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, let me just... Um... Do that because I think I just need to get the driller out out of here, or maybe I need the con I need think I need the connector out of here. I need something. <laughs> maybe it is the maybe it is the teleporter that I need over there. Oh goodness. Okay, let me think. Um, it's got to be the teleporter that's over there because that's the only way for me to get over there. Um, there's like no door into this section. All right. Okay. Um, so if I take you, I can put it through there. I can't like drop it through there. It doesn't look like. All right. So we'll let you do your thing there. I need to I need to set up the connector uh, so that blue is going over here now. Uh, it would also be nice if we could get that driller out too, so I could. I'm watching you all. I'm watching you. In which case, in which case, I. I probably don't want to put that over there yet. Um. <clears throat> I um, think I'm going to need to drill that again. I should have pulled back that driller a little bit. I don't want it to like block. I'm gonna go in here. Put you there. Mm. Uh. How can I? Oh. Uh. Oh. I need to. I need to get out. Um. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We can do this. We can do this because because we got the uh, teleporter now. So let me just plop that there. Then go back here. I'm gonna put that through. Then I teleport here. We grab the driller. Oh, not like that though. We grab the driller, teleport, drop. Grab the connector, teleport, drop. I feel like this teleporter thing is like really overpowered. Um, and then. I don't think I need to drill that. No, we, we are going to have to drill that wall to get the teleporter over. Um, what is what is down here? What, what do I even need to drill, you know? Because I can't... I can't see... <clears throat> Isn't, is there a third person mode in this game? Um, I was gonna say, maybe I could see a little better if I do that. Oh, it's like a green power source down there. That's what that is. Okay. That actually might be a good placement for that then. I just happen to kind of land on that. I'm not seeing anything right off the, anything else right off the bat. That, so that's good to know that that's there. Um, 
I'm assuming it's for like a like a star situation or something like that. Um, all right. Okay, so so I can't drill it right now though. We're probably gonna have to like come back here too. Two? Me too? Um <clears throat> I'll place this in here. We'll... Um, teleport. Do this. Do that. And do this. Okay. Do any doors open up for us to get out? Oh, we got a ladder here. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, um, awesome. So, then I can move my driller after all. I wasn't sure if I, like, needed to just, like, jump into the water, but I feel like we would not survive that very well. Um, hopefully that's an okay placement. I don't know what angle the green power source is going to need, but, um, I feel like that's kind of centralized, so we'll see. Let's see. I'm excited to see where it goes to. <laughs> In some ways, um, this island and, and the setup of it is kind of reminding me of one of my favorite puzzle games. Uh, it's called Quern. Uh, Q-U-E-R-N is how it's spelled. Uh, any of you fellow puzzle lovers, if you haven't played Quern, I recommend it. I think it's technically called like Quern Undying Thoughts. It's a, it's a good game. It's very mist inspired, but honestly, I, I liked it more than mist. Lift thrasts are seven. One day, undoubtedly, an expedition will pass by this island. It will seek to document facts and statistics to enumerate reasons for us not to look more closely. That is what we do now. We seek facts rather than truth, because truth might frighten and unsettle the comfortable people who like to sit in their conference rooms and debate which corners we should cut today. These people like to imagine the chaos that could come one day, like a comforting fairy tale of distant darkness. But they do not see the chaos that is at our walls right now, the chaos that also lives within us, a force that is both necessary and appalling. Hmm. Alright, we're heading to, uh, number three. What are you? You are through the wall. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm assuming this is, this is the wall. Okay. Um, yeah. Our endpoint's right here. Let's just go to it. Duh. <laughs> All right, so there's a driller over there. We have a teleporter right there. Um, I'm assuming we need to place the teleporter through the through through the wall. <laughs> I want to make sure that there are no other other walls I could place it through. It doesn't look like it. Honestly, though, I feel like I could just hold the teleporter on its side, just squeeze it through those bars. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's being a little bit picky right now. All right, we're gonna put you there and teleport. All right, and then we will. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this driller over. I don't. I don't think. Can you uh, teleport through like the the these bars? I don't think. Can you? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the reset thing just to test that. Ooh, that I'm hoping that just reset this one puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hopefully we didn't reset the entire map. That would have sucked. Uh, so I was going to test if I could teleport. You can. 
can teleport through these bars. Okay. All right then. Um, so that does change things then. Okay. Um, well, I, I have to have that there so I can move the driller somewhere. Right? Uh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm still feeling like I can't take this driller with me, but I feel like I've got to take the driller with me. Like, I've got two teleporters, but I can only do so much with that. I need, I need a driller to drill that wall. Um, let's just teleport over here and take a gander. Okay, all right, it just kind of looks how I expected it would. Um... <laughs> what I was expecting. I I need to drill this wall. How? How how do? Um Okay, uh I I think I know how to. All right, so we're gonna put that on the outside? Right, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm going to teleport to you. And then I'm going to go over this. And Um, still don't have my trailer though. I feel like this is very simple, but uh, you just have to do it in a very specific order, and that order is uh, I'm, I'm struggling with right now. All right, now that I'm in here. I can take this driller and bring it outside. Can we, uh, uh, okay, we can't drill through there. But that, is that okay? Is that okay? <laughs> I've got, I've got the driller out now, but the teleporter is not where it needs to be. I need it on the other side. Uh, uh. We can, we can do that, right? Maybe? Yes. And then, and then, okay. I probably could have solved that a lot faster. I think like one of the last steps I was just getting jumbled on. <laughs> But we did it. We did it. So that was number three. And number four is this way. It looks like we do have a question. There's a lot of question marks on, on this map. I'm going to try not to miss any of them. Especially that, that uh, green power source. That was, oh, I was about to say whatever's going on in that cave looks really cool. That's number four. Okay. Let's uh, continue following the path then. Seeing all the burbs is cool. Oh, hi, you coots. Hey, 1K, what's up? What's your analysis of the southern regions? The southern part of the island is a natural desert, basically just due to the chemical composition of the soil. My analysis is I haven't is been able to beautiful. work out why it's so warm, though. It could be a warm ocean current or something to do with the megastructure's thermal output. New Jerusalem doesn't have the kind of equipment I'd need to figure that out. Do you think Byron's okay? I hope so. Me too. I understand why he was impatient, but he should have been more careful. Um, did you know Cornelius? Yeah, everyone knew Cornelius. Oh, wow. 
After Eustathius retired, he was the only one left who was there since the beginning. Except I guess none of us really knew him after all. We all thought he was lost in the past, always studying the archive and the simulation. But he actually had all these secrets. And mm -hmm. a daughter. Yeah, Miranda. Um, are you disappointed in him? People are more than they appear to be. I guess so. Yeah. Even after centuries, they can still surprise you. <laughs> um, what did you do in New Jerusalem when we went back? Mostly just made sure Pellegrino didn't mess up the VTOL. We only have a handful of them, and while they look cool on the outside, the truth is they're held together by gaffer tape and good intentions. <laughs> There's a reason Melville's always complaining. This state of affairs could cost lives. In the future, we won't need them anymore. Societies unwilling to invest effort and resources into their infrastructure cannot remain functional. Uh, we have to learn to live with less, to be more creative. You're doing that. Um... Mm -hmm. Maybe this? You're right. I guess we never think about how easily Ingrid tragedies a lot of those can points. happen when we don't pay attention. You neglect something here, cut some corners there, and then suddenly someone is gone. All right, well, uh, ending on a very positive note there. That's all. Thanks, Yakut. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Everyone over here to uh, this cool looking wall. Cool looking cape. Number four, pushing through. This already looks intimidating. So I have a connector. I have multiple red inputs. You cannot teleport through a blue wall. I don't know if I've been met with that uh, opportunity before, but we can teleport through to there. And so if I'm holding you, we can bring it with us. Oh, we do have a red power source as well. Honestly, didn't even notice that. Um, before I teleport anywhere, let's just see what's maybe like on the other side of this wall. This one just looks like a button. Okay, all right, I'm glad that we came over here. We got a cube. Doesn't look like I need to power that anymore. Um, all right, so... It looks like I will be able to keep this open if I, like, do this. Okay. And then we can take our juicy teleporter with us. Um, so I will put the teleporter here. We're gonna go back in here, put... Uh, oh, teleport. <laughs> I was like, there's a way to get over there with this. Just had to think about it for a second. Um, and we're going to power you. And what else are we going to do? We're going to maybe take this cube, possibly? Maybe? Um... Put that on the other side of the wall. Is that is that possible? Uh I'm assuming this is just keeping that open, not that too. I could I could test that. Yeah, okay. Um And once I pick up this, I was about to say, once I pick up this cube, but then I can put my weight on it to keep it open. So we should be able to do that. There we go. Hoping I don't need that connector. I don't think, I don't think I can take the connector with me. I think it has to be doing that. 
And then we'll kind of just do the same thing again. We'll do that, do this, do that. Um, and do this. <laughs> It's interesting that it kind of had you do that last up, like, same thing twice, where you, like, um, pick up cube teleport you know, situation. I guess you didn't back, necessarily need to pick up cube we on that on last one, but... expedition to an ancient industrial complex south of New Jerusalem. It was enormous, sprawling, an area many times bigger than our whole city, just dedicated to manufacturing. Wow. It was incredible to think about the sheer variety of things they produced. And it made me realize how austere, how restricted our lives are. You know how most ancient structures are overgrown? It's kind of pretty, but in a sad way. Well, this one wasn't. There had been some kind of chemical spill. I don't know if it happened while the structure was still operational or if something had just rotted through, but it killed everything even centuries later nothing could grow it didn't have to happen that way and history doesn't have to repeat itself but we do have to remember that it did happen once um so it's looking like the green input is connected to a connector that's flipped upside down on that structure Um, okay, so I'll just have to try to remember that that's there so we can connect it uh, via that power source. And maybe, wasn't there like a connector in that, um, the escape level? If so, like I'm guessing that we need to use that. Or, or maybe there is another connector that I need to use. I'll have to go back and check there soon. But for now, um, we will go, I guess, this way. This is number five. Oh. Dyad? Dyad? I don't know how to pronounce that. Glass floor? Oh, I love this. I love water, so just like seeing it makes me very happy. Water and windows, two of my favorite things. All right, so we have a jammer. Yeah, haven't seen you in a while, you precious thing. Okay, all right, good to see you, good to see you. Um, what what else do I have? We do have a teleporter over there. Okay, so maybe we could do like a this situation. Take that. Uh... I get the jammer over here with me in any way. Uh, that's that's gonna be a toughie. Maybe if I move the teleporter like here, a little bit more over, and. Teleport. There we go. Cool. So then let's jam you now. Uh, we'll put this here. Now I'll jam that wall. Teleport. Oh, another teleporter. Uh, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with you? So eventually we need to jam this. Now we need to jam this blue wall through this window. Okay. Great. Terrific. Um... How do you propose we do that? Um, especially since it seems like I, I can't get back over. Am I... Is there... Surely it wouldn't lock me in here, right? How can I... 
Just how? Just how? How can I get back over? I would kind of expect there to be a ladder over here. Oh, um... I can't, I can't pick you up through the bars. I feel like I'm, I'm supposed to have a teleporter outside and I just don't, and it's not. The end goal I feel here is that I need to jam this blue wall through that window, but I'm just trying to like figure out how to like keep the jammer over there. And like also like get myself out. And there's not like a, a ladder. Um hang on. Maybe if I uh, jam, teleport, you, jam, teleport. Okay. Are we on to something now? We're on to something now. There we go. Goodness. I was just really struggling to figure out how to get the jammer back over for that some reason. Really kind of excellent. <laughs> Alrighty, so that was puzzle five right there. Um, oh, and we have a private message that we need to check out. But we will check that out in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching this one, and I'm looking forward to more puzzles with you in this beautiful oasis. It's time. See you then.